my friends what is hematoma block it is much of a debate whether you should do it or not can it increase the chance of an infection into a fracture it's usually used for the distal radius fractures one of the commonest fractures in elderly fresh fractures aim it will assist in painless reduction patient is in supine position with the fracture by the side of the limb fracture limb on the side of the limb of the body sterile technique not to be done in open injuries evaluate the skin first ease out the patient give a systemic analgesia monitoring should be done paint and drape the area prepare it have a good cm facility small bone needle infiltrate the subcutaneous tissue with some anesthesia enter with a white bone needle in the fracture gap aspirate blood comes out with hematoma blood with fat drops confirms it inject 5 to 10 ml of anesthetic agent 0.5 or 1% of lignocaine with epinephrine it can be easier with a large bone needle once you have injected that area with a smaller bone during the block the patient can be anxious muscle spasms can be common give decent time to adapt to the situation inform the patient all the steps small bone needle large bone needle aim of reduction cm ot draping with pain relief the muscles will be more relaxed and the fracture reduction will be easier to carry out there might be teachers of old school thought who might not agree with hematoma blocks but yes there are areas and the literature that talks about it the hematoma block thank you very much